if you could say your first and last name, even though yep. it's actually Joshua Stone, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. What unit are you in? I'm in OSA Dead 18. OSA Dead 18. Yes, yeah, so that's the, the uh, C-12 uh, airplane unit, and that's uh, the unit on the Redness NCO-4, but, and then part of my other responsibility is working in flight operations at the ASF here. So do you know what OSA stands for? It's Operational Support Airlift. Um, it's oh. DET 18. So every state has a C-12, which is the King Air uh, 250, which is uh, the little white plane out there, the, the twin turboprop okay. airplane that we have. So yeah. every state has one um, that they can use to support, you know, national uh, and international missions. And that just have, we just have to be, you know, um, but this st cool. stuff today was through the ASF, the Army Aviation Support Facility. It was a mission, um, you know, uh, supported by the helicopters, which is yes. like sort of the other half of my job. Which is supporting the helicopters. The mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So um, there's there's two units that have helicopters. The 238th, which is the medevac ones, it has that they have the Red Cross on the side. They're the HH-60 mics, and the one you flew on today was uh, a UH-60 Lima which is um, an older model, and it's the one, first of the 169 flight, and they're more um, passengers and cargo type of type of missions that they do. Okay. So I'll kind of get into more mm -hmm. today now that we have some. So what was your role in Operation Santa Claus? Yeah, my role was uh, the behind-the-scenes coordination of the gifts from um, the Concord Armory uh, in Building 1 up to the Berlin Airport, which is where... Um, we brought our we brought our gifts um, there, so we transitioned the gifts there to um, people, uh, state employees, who then brought them to uh, back to their office uh, in Berlin, and then from there they'll distribute them to um, children in need in the North Country. Okay. H about how many gifts do you think you transported? Hmm. Yeah. I, um. It took us five uh, pickup truck loads um, and I would say it was at least several hundred gifts um, that we transported today. That's pretty awesome. Yeah and then a bunch of gift cards too. I didn't realize that thing I had in my pocket. I'm like oh wait this is good. I gave it to her. She's like oh these are gift cards you know because it looked like um, I don't know if you still read any of the things. It looks like kids would be like my name's Mike. Uh, this is what's going on and I would like this stuff. So, and then I think, you know, someone would get that and go shopping for that thing. But it also sort of gave, like, um, a little thing about the kid, like, oh, their parents are, you know, uh, drug addicts or alcoholics. They're, uh, you know, this, they're going through whatever. So maybe it sort of, like, gave someone, whoever's ever shopping for that kid, like, something to, like, think about maybe when they're, you know, shopping for this guy or, or girl, whatever, you know, the yeah. kid. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe just, like... Safety things. <clears throat> yeah, it's true. Like you know, maybe they also think about this when you're shopping. Don't you know? Maybe this is something maybe to stay away from too. If they don't, maybe give you specific. Hey, I want Star Wars Legos or whatever. <laughs> who were you coordinating with? You said you were behind the scenes. So who were you working with? Yeah. So the request came from Troop Command, who's our higher headquarters, and they send down um, a request for movement, and it just pretty much says, hey, we need you to move. Um, this amount of cargo from Concord to Berlin and then behind the scenes I coordinate um, with the people who approved the missions here so the missions go all the way up to Colonel Matamor and he says yep that's a great mission that we can do something good for the community but we can also get some training value out of so all our pilots and the crew members got training value out of today's mission I think I also coordinated with people at the Berlin Airport um, because Part of the reason they used us is because we can get the stuff up there pretty quickly. So it was the furthest away location, and then um, to avoid, you know, some of the some of the road miles for us, we were able to coordinate with the airport. They had vehicles staged there that uh, they just transported the gifts from the airport over to where they were their offices in Berlin. Have you ever worked with Operation Santa Claus before? No, it's the first year. I don't know if this is the first year we supported it, but it's the first year. I don't remember it last year. I was here December last year, but I don't remember. Us supporting it last year. COVID. Yeah, sure. So I'm assuming because this is something <clears throat> yeah. that mm -hmm. they've done before because yeah. the pad has covered it before. Sure. But um, did you, I'm going to kind of ask a little bit more about you. Did you have any Christmas traditions when you were younger that you remember? 
you know, it's uh, my parents are divorced. Uh, at early age, they were divorced when I was three, and like uh, you would go to Christmas at one, then you go to another. So you know, it just it is sort of different. So I remember always looking forward to Christmas more with my mom because I think her, you know, her family sort of had more of those traditional celebrations at Christmas. My dad's was more low key, you know, was, uh, fewer people. Uh, but uh, you know, I think the, those are the type of things I remember back uh, for Christmas, you know, when when I was younger. Do you remember any gifts that you, or do you remember what it was like as a kid, just being very excited for Christmas morning? Can you kind of walk me through that? Yeah, certainly. Um, I was, uh, I grew up with a brother and a sister, you know, um, we always spend most of our time uh, together back then. I remember, uh, you know, just getting very excited on Christmas Eve, going to bed early, uh, but then just so we could wake up early, you know, um, and that was the first thing you do in the morning, go down and open your gifts, and I, you know. So, kind of thinking about how it was for you, why do you think it's important that the guard does something like this? Um, I think it's important for a few reasons, you know, um, I think to part of what we do is really uh, the, one of the great parts, what we do is maintaining connection to um, the community. You sort of remember that kind of stuff from from recruiting, right? Um, because we're certainly great at all the other things that we do. We deploy and train and all that. But um, I think why and how what you sell in recruiting a lot of times is that connection to your community. You're able to uh, join here, but also stay here. You know, um, you're not really going in and being like, guess what? In six months, you're going to deploy for a year. You know, you'd like to one week in a month and two weeks in the summer but then you know the connection to your community um is so strong and then um being able to you know you weren't ever going to meet any of these kids that we get the presents to so you know um I, but i think it's important to like um give back in that regard to people you probably are never going to meet they're never going to know maybe that their, their present flew in a helicopter uh but maybe that'd be uh, something cool you know uh, that could take that could come out of it but i really appreciate um us being able to to be a part of it and just to be a pretty small part of it you know because certainly we weren't out there you know uh buying the gifts we were really like a smart like the transport you know of that making sure it got from a to b but you know um just like the last the last mile of it so i appreciate um Oh, that 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 part of it, you know, it's 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 certainly the different aspect of the guard. You're really not going to get a ton of that on active duty, you know. Um, I know I remember in my time on active duty, we never really did anything uh, like this. But it's also where I grew up, you know. So it's really important to me to to give back to to the state. Where did you go? Uh, Concord. Yeah. So I uh, in Concord for since I was six, five or six, I think. And my parents lived in Merrimack before that. Um, and then I was on active duty for five years, and then I came back, and then I've been back uh, ever since. So <clears throat> really being from New Hampshire and part of New Hampshire is really just part of my identity. Yeah. I don't blame me. Yeah. <laughs> um, how do you think the children are going to feel once they get their presents? Boy, you know, uh, I hope they make them feel a little better because I know they're probably in pretty uh, – they're not in probably great situations. You know, they probably – if they had – you know, um, things were going great in their life, they probably wouldn't be recipients of these types of, you know, um, uh, things. So hopefully it makes them, you know, feel good for, you know, a day or two. And uh, maybe when they get older, grow up, they can do sort of the same thing, pass on those same types of things to other kids because they remember how they felt, you know, on Christmas morning actually having, being able to open something and, you know, be, not being left out. Yeah, I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. Do you know how many locations were I can I'll to name off the ones I remember um Laconia Conway Claremont Keene Manchester Berlin there probably is more um uh, but I think those are the ones troop commanders are responsible for um I don't know if other units or other segments of the state had you know different uh, locations but those are the ones we were responsible for those are all the ones I have. I have oh, the okay. Command, like Friday. I just need you to say it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you miss sitting, it's going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's all I have for you. Is okay. there anything you feel nope. like you should add? No, no. Nope. Nope. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, absolutely. Doing. Okay, so could you just uh, state your first and last name? Yep, uh, my name's Audrey Monroe. And you are in Alpha Company, first of the 179th? 169th. Yep. Yeah. Yep, Alpha Company, first of 169. Okay. 
That's pretty. I just need that for like your little like the intro. Yeah, the, like your little <laughs> title. How long have you been a crew chief? I have been a crew chief for just about two years now. Um, I started flying in October 2020 before we deployed. Where did yeah. you deploy to? Kosovo. How was that? It was neat. It was cool. <laughs> have you always wanted to be in aviation? Yes. Yep. I started in aviation. I was working in backdrops first. As um, I did uh, sheet metal and airframe structures repair. And after that, I reclassed to become a crew chief. Well, a mechanic and then a crew chief. So. Your dad's in the guard, isn't he? Yes. Yep. He works over um, at the CSMS in Concord. Okay. Just waiting for them to like yep. stop moving chairs. Um, anyway, so can you explain to me like what we did today? Like what Operation Santa Claus is to you and like what we did? Can you walk me through yeah. it? So uh, we started out the morning. Well, we started out yesterday. We picked up the toys over from Building 1 and it's all the, uh, the packages that were split up into different um, places where they were going across the state. Um, today us and so the 169 and the 238th we were tasked to get aircraft or er, an aircraft with the toys to Berlin um, drop it off at the Berlin airport and from there we had people from the town help uh, move them to where they were going to be distributed um, but yeah we packed the aircraft the night before um, some cargo nets and Tetris like stacking and then yeah, we flew the aircraft up this morning um, took some pictures with Santa and went up to Berlin. And then we <laughs> unloaded once we got there. Yeah, yeah, and unloaded all the toys, um, working with the volunteers, and then they moved them from the airport to, uh, I think, their town hall. Yeah, I'll cut it out. I'll cut it out. It's not live. Everything you said, yeah. I'm going to work with, so don't even cool. worry about it. Um, earlier, you were t when you were talking to WMUR, you had mentioned that this was something that you did when you were a kid. So can you, like, what, how involved were you when you were younger? So our family wasn't super involved, but we did see every year we got to see, like, our dad was working to help out with the trucks to make sure that they were up and running so they could move all of the presents around. And um, we, did, we did a lot of stuff with the, um, what is the kids program? Kids. Operation Military Kids. Um, so they, like the family readiness group and everything like that, they would help us out with like summer camp uh, reservations so that like my sister and I could go to summer camp in the summer. Um, they did like stuff like this, Operation Santa Claus, they'd help out um, with just, you know, getting toys to kids that didn't have them or had less. Um, they did like the apple picking stuff at um, Apple Hill Orchard. So, we weren't always directly involved with every single piece of those, but it, it's all the same people who did all those different events, and it was always fun. We looked forward to them. <laughs> what would you do then when you were a kid? Like, how would you help out? Um, usually, if so, if we were around, like just because like our dad was working late, he'd like bring us, and we'd see like in the drill hall floor like the big piles of toys and stuff, and uh, the Manchester Armory, I think. Um, yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. <laughs> How, did, when you saw those piles of toys, did it make you like want to be in the guard, or did it have any effect on you? Um, at the time, I didn't really understand that this was such a special thing. I didn't have, know how like unique it was to experience that as a little kid. But yeah, and now that I see both sides of it, it's pretty cool. I'm glad that I got to see that, and it was fun to participate. How do you think those kids will feel once they get their presents? Oh, I hope they like them, especially the kid that gets a stapler. I don't, I don't know who wanted a stapler, but <laughs> I hope they're excited. How do, do you remember how you used to feel on Christmas morning when you were a kid? Yeah. Could you kind of talk me through it? Um, I know I'm putting you on the spot. I mean, it was fun. I'd like to watch my brother and sister open the gifts. Um, I think uh, Christmas for our family was pretty unique because I'd travel back and forth between my mom and my dad's. So Christmas was more spent in the car than anything. But it, it was always exciting to wake up. There's one year there was a guitar under the Christmas tree, or my sister got a bike one year. And it was always, it's always a, a big morning, especially when you have, like, younger siblings. So it was fun. <laughs> 
Why do you think what we did today is important? Not everyone gets to have a Christmas. So I, I think it's really important that they can see that the National Guard isn't just a bunch of soldiers who aren't doing uh, like stuff in the community, but instead they see a soldier and they're like, wow, a soldier is bringing me toys or like the helicopter, that's Santa. Like, that's cool, that's pretty cute. <laughs> I agree. Um, all right, I'll wrap up. I don't want to take too much more of your time. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I don't think so. I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs>
start moving some prep? Here, okay, yeah. Right. Oh boy. Right. You wanna pull oh. yours up? Sure. I've got a napkin, I'll wipe that off and get it all over right there. Well, okay, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Much faster with so many people. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Take a group photo call with the children. Yeah, that's what we put. Yeah, that'd be good. 